so hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this video we are going to see some of the hr questions of uh, my entry interview rounds uh, so this is the sec part 2 video uh, there is already a part 1 video in which i have covered more hr question uh, hr round questions so i would suggest you to check that as well and uh, this is the continuation or second part of that video so uh, if you are new to my channel please subscribe the channel and uh, you can check the playlist section of my channel where i have created multiple playlists of uh, different companies interview experiences uh, as well as videos on different topics so let's start with this video so let's start our first question so the first hr question is what have you learned from your failures so the answer for this can be from my failures i have learned to analyze myself and find out my shortcomings those shortcomings are the areas of future improvement for me and i have taken those factors seriously to improve myself in those relevant areas one more thing i learned is never to give up never to feel rejected so this is a very common question that you can be asked not only in this mindtree uh, interview rounds but also can be asked in multiple companies rounds so you can answer this accordingly moving on to the next question tell me about your plan in plant training where you did it and what was the exposure you gained from it so plan training as in if you have done any training during your uh, college time in the in any plant so you have to explain about that so this question can be asked to you if you have mentioned some trainings in your uh, resume so the answer for this can be sir i did my implement implant training at bsnl and the polachi i have learned much about telephonic communication also i had an opportunity to talk with employees there who gave a clear picture about the uh, routing of the telephonic call so basically this means that uh, in the hr rounds also you can uh, have the questions from your resume as well as your uh, internship or training questions moving on with the next question if you haven't done any such plan in plant training why didn't you do it so this can be asked if you have not done any training during your Uh, college time so you can be asked like why have you not done any training so how you can answer this question is so i didn't assign time during my initial years of study and wanted to move in for in plant training at the earliest show that uh, you have at least little industrial experience by saying the real time projects or mini projects you completed during your final year so this is another question actually so uh like you can be they can be asked they can ask you to show any projects that you have done in your final year so you can explain that so next thing is uh, tell me about something about your project so here in this case you have to describe your uh, like for some of the points that are why you selected that project and what is the importance of that like uh, what are the key skills you have gained from it all those things have to be covered uh, what prompted you to select and specialize in your branch of study Uh, i was so much interested in working on computers and that got a lot of passion to choose my branch of study give some positive answers like this this course would help you to get your dream job reading papers about the scope of for this profession so uh, always just whatever you are uh, speaking just have a uh, material about it to speak so that uh, you don't find uh, yourself short of words while giving the answer on and the tip is there smile in the face makes you look confident don't be nervous while answering where do you see yourself after 10 years so this is again a very common question so answer for this can be i would like to gain a solid foundation in the position and i'm sure as i continue to grow there will be opportunities within the company to offer me upward professional growth and new challenges i would like to be a person who is well versed with technical knowledge and enhanced soft skills who has inspired you in your life and why so the answer for this any any of a role model you have to speak in this case doc kalam after reading his wings of fire i analyzed a clear dream about my future he is a person with such simplicity humble in nature I always adore the way he interacts with students at various levels give a situation in which you were successful I was good at playing basketball right from my school days. I represented the district team last year and won the title award. Or I secured the top score of my school during my 12th standard. You can answer any of uh, like uh, if you have scored good in your career that you can say or otherwise you can say any extracurricular activities that you have done. So it totally depends person to person. 
what are the most memorable experiences from the college one of the most memorable experiences was when i happened to attend a q and a session in which dr kalam answered all the questions with his usual style and ease i was thrilled when i was given an opportunity to ask questions to him on the whole it was a memorable day hearing great insights from the missile man himself who holds a large who holds a larger than life image and still remains humble and modest with such great knowledge so you can answer it accordingly what are your extra curricular activities mention it i find myself good at singing i have represented my school music band i like playing chess too so whatever the extra curricular activities that you find interesting you can speak uh, on your behalf how did you, your extra curricular activities change your approach towards life so all these questions are uh, asked basically to judge your thinking capacity and your uh, response how you uh, response to these questions on the spot so the answer for this can be according to the music is according to mu music is soul when i took a serious step towards music my mind was so rejuvenated and that gave a lot of positive vibes to face the various challenges so the next question is why is that your academic record not consistent so this may happen with many like uh, the academic record is uh, not good so how you can answer this is i got down with flu during the last semester which result in the scores going down otherwise i would always maintain a consistent academic record so you can answer in this way why from different non tech domain to it domain so if you are from any non tech domain so non it like domain so why would you want to shift to this domain so how, how you can answer this today it finds its place in every industry and hence i think people with good analytical skills can shift and contribute to the respective specializations to it industry and i believe flexibility must be there within us to progress in life so this this answer shows that you are always ready to uh, take challenges whatever uh, which are also out of your comfort zone you are not only uh, like willing to work uh, only on those things which you have like learned moving on to the next question how do you think you conducted or performed during this interview so like uh, they also want to see your perspective of this interview so they can ask this questions also so how you can answer this is i think i have conducted myself in the best possible manner by say satisfying your queries through my specific answers which i feel were logical systematic and to the point through my answer my true worth was as a dynamic and competent professional has come out fair and square and i am happy with my performance which would ensure my selection in this esteemed organization Uh, so do you have any arrears if so how many reason for the arrears if applicable try to give the honest answer example health reasons difficulty in that particular paper so if uh, if you have any backlogs or something don't just lie just give the real answer so that uh, they will to know uh, because if you lie after during the recruitment process they get to know that can be uh, a problem so i would suggest you if you have any or if you had previously and you have cleared that you can mention that also so the next question is what qualifiers do you look for in a boss so there are different pointers that you can uh, answer in this one is treat everyone with respect dignity and equally have an honest and open communication with everyone in the team recognize for my efforts and the value i provide to the company so these are the answers that you can say tell me about your ability to work under pressure uh definitely i can work under pressure i can adapt to the changes in the environment easily and i have a positive attitude too that helps me to work under any conditions uh, moreover we can learn from our experiences and this shows the actual talent also a good employer must have the capacity to handle any work situation and can adjust in any atmosphere and environment so this can be a possible answer for this question do you have any questions for me so in most of the cases what uh, mistake students do is they directly say no i would suggest not to say no instead you should ask some of one or two questions if not any just one question will be sufficient just ask at least one question to the interview so that they also get a feeling that you are interested in this conversation and this interview so and it gives a good impact impression on them so the different questions that you can ask is what kind of training do you provide how long is the training period or other question that you can ask is what are your expectations of this position in the next 3 months and apart from this you can also ask what is your preferred method of communication 
so these all were some of the hr round questions that were asked in my tree uh, company and uh, also i have made i think so four different videos uh, only on my tree interview experiences you can check that out too uh, by going to the playlist section of my channel and uh, there is a complete interview preparation uh, playlist where different uh, companies interview experiences are covered and i would suggest you if you are sitting for any company not you just don't need to see the interview experiences of that company because in most of the cases the uh, questions that are being asked in uh, different companies is are similar only so you can check the interview experiences of the different companies as well to get a better idea of uh, the whole interview procedure that is all the rounds that is tr mr and hr so that's all for this video and uh, thanks for watching